I forgot to turn on my light back there, but the sun is pretty bright, so I don't think it really hurts. Uh, hello, Fredlings. I'm Clover Chicago. We are here for real people with real creativity in real time. Fredlings, never give up, and I wanted you. And if you missed our last live stream, I did kind of end it pretty abruptly. Um, this is the Capybara Habitat, so let me give you a little show of this here. Capybara Habitat looks very, very nice, and I really am happy how it turned out. Quite a lot of people come into this. A lot of people quite enjoyed this. I did notice, though, I did forget to put down um, uh, the food and the water bowls. So I do want to add that in before I completely forget and move on. So I'm going to add in a food bowl here. And I'm going to add in a water spout in the back. So it's a little bit hidden away. Just want to kind of keep a little bit of uh, decency away. There, decency. So we'll put the food bowl there. Instead of them just, like, throwing it on the ground. That's not really realistic, though. Capybaras are... Look, there's a broccoli, uh, you know, a cantaloupe, some tomatoes, some carrots, um, some... I guess that's onions or something? Some cheese? Some lettuce? They're actually eating pretty good. But today, uh, as you see in the title... And as we're playing pause, we're actually at medium quality, I believe, or low. I can't even remember. Are we at low or are we at medium for the graphics? We are on low. Uh, I changed something. But let me uh, get to it and just tell you what's going to be going on. So today is the speed building. Now, I don't, I'm not really happy um, with that term. I mean, of course, I can keep playing the game in pause mode. Um... And play mode sometimes works. I think maybe me turning down my quality of the 720p has officially helped. Apparently, we're not getting enough um, data coming through, which is weird uh, because I even lower the quality. But, you know, it, uh, I'm not lagging today at all, which is strange. Usually, yesterday, I was, like, lagging up a storm. Um, but... Guests are now officially saying that tickets are now overpriced. Before, they weren't saying it was overpriced. Now, they are. Which is weird, because they were not upset about that before. But um, we are slowly uh, breaking into the uh, making money business here. We're almost at the cash flow is literally about to break into profit um, soon. We're still in the red pretty bad, but uh, we're pretty close. But the speed building, so what does that mean? The speed building means that we are going to go through and we're going to start speed building in some habitats to get this area filled out and we can have everything nice and settle on in. So the first thing I want to do is go to our Africa animals. And I wish we could select by um, a continent. Uh, we could do that for everything else, but we cannot check it for this. So... Uh, we could definitely look and see what is exists there. So we'll go to Africa. And we'll go to... Uh, well, this is... The Africa in this game is not including the entirety of Africa. Uh, what about... Is it Asia? Oh, no. We're clicking on the aardvark. That's why it's popping up like that. What about... Um, Africa. Is this where the wild bling bling is? Liam's been asking me about that for quite some time. Here's the camel. Liam's been asking about the camel. That's for sure. But what about the wild bling bling? Wild bling bling would be uh, African lion. Did we put the African lion? I think we, we did... What? No, this is West African lion. I don't think we put the other lion in, did we? Or is there is there multiple lions, or am I just not not thinking correctly? This is called the West African lion. Okay. This is cr pretty much a big. This is a big spot down here as well. Um. Yeah, and if I put a little safe house here, so that or a uh, maybe a, another facility here. Like one of these, maybe it'll be easier for my staff members to get around. Hmm, I don't know. All right, let's, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place right now. I need to find an animal. So let's go into here and let's click on an elephant. 
Let's click on the Zoo Media. Let's click on a continent, Africa. And let's see what kind of African elk, African animals we have that we didn't put in yet. Cheetah. Cheetah was one that we haven't put in yet. Kind of want to put the cheetah by the uh, lions. That's where it would be in real life. So I kind of want to do that. But I do want to put, like, a big animal. What is this? I don't know what that was. The Mildreds? We actually haven't done very many monkeys. Maybe we could do another monkey one. Uh, there's the Wild Bling Bling. It's the Somalian Wild Bling Bling. Uh, ch chimpanzee, maybe? Because that means right next to the gorillas. What is the chimpanzees? They say 10 males, 10 females. Guests cannot enter this habitat. They can live up to 51 years old. That's wild. Uh, they also can live with the Red River Hog. That looks like the most nasty animal I've ever seen in this entirety of this game. Holy bling bling. What about this crow? Red cr That's cool. I don't. These are a lot of stuff in this game that I did not know that existed. Now, do not forget, uh, Moshe did get us all the DLCs. So... Uh, we do actually have quite a lot of animals, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, beautiful the beautiful where's it at? Western chimpanzees. Um, there's a beautiful silver female and a beautiful silver male. There's a five year difference between them. A little bit less for we're gonna adopt them and as you see here we made this beautiful in-ground gorilla habitat um where are the gorillas here they are i want to see how old gorillas can live to if chimpanzees can live to 50 how old do you think they can live to they only live to 49 or 41 that's even less wow but i really love how this one turned out quite more than i thought i, I would have so I kind of really do want to recreate that vibe here. And I want to put in um, a nice line down the middle. And we'll do monkeys and monkeys or chimpanzees or whatever. I do want to get a, like a nice good chunk. So how deep does this go? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Can I just do this? This is actually a little lower. All right, perfect. So it has to go this deep at least. And then I want to get a little bit lower. Because we were having a little issue in the last one. So let's start getting this all finely tuned out. Getting this all filled in. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am. Got to see a good friend of mine for a little bit. And now we're playing some beautiful uh, Planet Zoo. You're definitely going to use this big uh, brush here. Oh, there is no pathway, though, for guests to see these uh, chimpanzees. Except for off the main pathway. Which I guess is probably fine. Don't really need people going all the way around all the time. Not all the time. And the reason why we're doing the chimpanzees below, I think it's just because we've done most of our monkeys in this um, series. Well, we've done all those primates like that. But, um, except for the Colombian one, it just seems more realistic that they would be down and not above. Because I think they would be too smart to, like, figure a way to jump out. With them having a very steep cliff, I don't think they're gonna... It, do as many attempts to escape. I'm not saying they won't attempt to escape. I'm, I'm fully uh, 
I fully can anticipate one of them trying to escape. If they if they were a little bit more crazy in this game, I think they could escape a lot of my uh, enclosures. A lot of my enclosures are a little bit, uh, a little bit. I don't want to say cheaply put together, but I do think they could uh, figure out. Oh, get. A, I think they could figure it out if they if they, they tried hard enough. All right, so let's grab this path, and obviously this is gonna hook up these uh, chimpanzees and the uh, the Mildreds. Um, oh, apparently I have um, a fence over here. I thought I removed all of these. I know I spent stayed up really late removing all these fences, but I guess not. That is gonna be a whole another day stream, I guess. Or another time stream, or another... Whenever I have the patience to do it. I do respect having the, uh, the fences at certain spots. Like, for example, here to here, I can see it being realistic. Having a fence so that no guests can get to there. But I do think it should stop at a point. Like, maybe to that tree, and then you don't need it anymore. Because how far is the guest going to go, right? Unless they're... If, I mean, once again, just like in real life, if they really wanted to get past and get into a certain spot, somebody could. If they really wanted to, they could. There's literally no limitations on people and their ability. All right. I think this is probably okay. Uh, let's do some smoothing out here. That looks very horrendous. Speaking of, we're going to probably have to do some smoothing back to this side. Then we're going to have to go back to that rock, it looks like. And we're going to have to paint some rock in here. And then... Um, we should be fine there. Now, this might be pretty flipping huge. Because the gorillas are not even that big. So maybe we can get three of them in here? I don't even know. This is pretty big, though. You split it down the middle. You split it down the middle. You need to have a house. You need to have a house. So, let's figure that out. Let's go here and let's make a house right here for the chimpanzees on this side here. Smooth this out. And then we're going to go here. And then we'll make a house on this side because it just would only make sense to have it in this corner. Now, with that being said, I might want to hook this building up to the um, Liam's Lake. Or... To Liam's Lagoon uh, outpost. Okay, now that that's done, we are going to need some sort of way for these animals to get down, these primates. So let's make a little, little steep. Not steep, sorry. Steep is a bad word. A little slope little ramp something like that it was a little bit nicer that would be nice then we'll smooth this out here so now they have a little ramp to come out and go down and then we're gonna need another one on this side over here Smooth tool is really nice, though, as you clearly can see. Okay. Um, that's a little bumpy on this side, but I guess we'll figure that out in a second. So now we need a like a wall going down the middle. But we should look. Oh my gosh! Six. 
hundred six thousand six hundred and thirty or ninety three. Holy bling blong, a golden one. Look at there's a lot of chimpanzees. Chimpanzees really are. They're going good actually. All right, perfect. Now let's make our barriers. Now we're gonna start with the physical barrier with like a concrete wall, and then we're gonna come through and we're gonna make our own custom one, okay? The reason why I do that is because it at least allows us to understand that this is the actual wall. Because sometimes I'll do it and I will forget where it is. It's a null barrier and I just don't like how that turns out, so. I'm also going to need to add in uh, those railings back, but maybe we could do custom railings over here. I haven't liked doing custom railings because I do feel like it's a little bit too much. But I do like how it turned out on the, the gorilla one. Alright, so we'll go like this over here. These probably will have to be a physical wall. And we can put the house right there. Okay. Next is now we got to do these physical concrete barriers until we figure out where we want to go. Um, figure out where the middle is. Like, yeah, like I was saying, like right about there is probably okay. Probably do the back as well. All right, good. So next is the chimpanzees. Select one of them. Go to uh, here. Or do I got to place them in first? Select them all. It doesn't have a door yet. We're going to put the big metal door on that just in case, you know. Um, and then I gotta hook these up to, uh, yeah, the, uh, work zones. Work zone, uh, we're gonna do quadrant four, which I believe is this. Yes, it is. Put those on there, and we gotta reselect this one for some reason that wasn't selected. And now, we should wait until we get our chimpanzees in. And then people are gonna freak out because this isn't technically complete. I just need one of them to land so I could make the wall. Pause, as Morgs would say. Click on here. Uh, tropical and Africa. Perfect. What kind of rocks do we have available? Tropical rocks, which is perfect. That's exactly what I kind of wanted to use anyways. And let's start getting the uh, walls in place. So we'll go here. We'll take our wall. We will select it. We will rotate it, and we'll put it in. We'll put it in here, and we'll move it out, and we will uh, move it here. Get ourselves a little bit of a decisive difference by moving that or rotating that around a little bit. off the grid a little bit like so 
And here, we're going to start using some big chunky boys. Give it a little bit of detail and differentials. We obviously do not want them to escape, so we got to add a bunch of rocks here so that they can't rotate that around. Take this one here, and I usually don't rotate these upside down, and I, the only reason why I don't do that is because they kind of get stuck and hidden underground like this. It's a lot harder to move. Uh, but it, it, it doesn't take as long as I make it seem to be. All right, now let's press play and see if they can escape. They can escape still. They can jump up to this height, um, apparently. Uh, so this is not deep enough. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but what we can do is we can do what we did over here. We can duplicate these rocks and move them over here to make ourselves have a little custom railing. Like I said, I don't want to do this for all of them, but we'll have a little bit of a custom railing. And uh, this should prevent them from jumping up here. If it doesn't, then uh, we might be at a, a little bit of a loss for the time being until I figure out what we need to do. I think it's just gonna be more of just adding more rocks in than anything else like so then obviously we're gonna have another habitat right next to it so we're gonna add those in as well over here yeah i do think this is a little too uh big of a habitat, especially this one here. Um, no, I guess they're about the same size once you put in the walls. They should be about the same size. It just looks a lot bigger. Or I'm just a little impatient. One or the other. <laughs> I think a couple of people would say the impatient is more accurate than anything else. Ooh, maybe that's what I was talking about. All right, now uh, let's press play and see what they say. Uh, they cannot escape there anymore, but there is a little bit of an issue here in this that they can't jump up on. Uh, with them jumping up on here, they're going to have some issues with um, in the game. So I do want to just kind of fix that as soon as possible by just adding a big rock here. Hopefully that will not prevent them from doing that. It is. It will. Perfect. So their animals are having some issues. They're having issues with space. They're insufficient or overcrowding issues. So uh, what are they? They're not complaining about overcrowding that way, but they're over. They're complaining about climbing. Um, obviously, climbing is very big for the uh, chimpanzees as well as any other um, animals. Uh, so, yeah, them not being able to climb is probably freaking... They're probably freaking out. I would be freaking out as well. So, I mean, it's really sad when you see the um, people who just put an animal in a cage. Especially, like, one of these beautiful uh, chimpanzees and all them. They just shove them in a cage and they let them live there for the rest of their life. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, they're supposed to be outside. They're supposed to be climbing. They're supposed to be playing. So I do want to give them that opportunity here in our zoo. And I'm going to incorporate a couple other pieces because this is quite a large area. I do want them to have a couple climbing uh, facilities. I don't know what is going to be the best for them. But I do want to switch it up a little bit so that they can do their own, their own due diligence and hang out. Apparently this is still not enough in terms of climbing area. They actually want quite a lot. But I do believe that these animals have um, trees in this building that they can actually climb. And I think if we add trees too, they'll be able to climb it as well. Um, the gorillas did have a bigger habitat. I don't know if I'm just going to do the chimpanzees with this. It will match the entirety of this design. But I don't know if chimpanzees need um, would or need or would want a nice solid building. I think we're just gonna go with this design for right now. 
looks really bad when you do it this way, to be honest with you. Uh, what did I do with the doors? The doors are on the side. In a fence. Maybe I'll just knock out one of this wall and... Knock out the wall and put in a... Uh... Knock out the window and put in a permanent wall is what I'm trying to say. Right, we're not going to save right now. Knock this out. Knock this out. Knock this out. Knock this out. What are these walls called? These are called Temple Wall. I'm happy I chose that design because the Temple Wall do look, does look really nice. We'll take this and we'll shrink this as close as to the wall as possible. Take these, make this null, and I think that looks pretty legit. Uh, this this is now floating, technically. So there should be some temple walls that are a little bit shorter, or at least the pillars. I believe there would be. Now, the support beam is not actually the same, um, the same kind. Where is this floating at? It's floating pretty much everywhere in here. That's wild. So I think I just need to raise the, raise the roof, raise the, uh, the land. At least fix that. It's not going to fix everything. And then I'm going to need some, like, concrete um, support beams. There should be some in here. The temple. Um, I'm looking for, like, a square one like this. Yeah. So put one of those in. Um, I need another taller one. Put one of those in. I think we'll be good, to be honest with you. We should be good. All right. I, they do like the trees. So some of these trees should allow them to uh, get uh, some climbing ability. I don't know which ones will do that. But we we'll guess we will find out, shall we? So let's click on one of these guys. And we'll see what they're going on. They say they're doing okay. Uh, they do want more climbing area. But yeah, let's see if the trees will give them some. So what about these apple trees? Does that give you climbing area? It does. All right. See, that is what I'm talking about. Okay. So we'll put an apple tree here, and I want to move this facility. I want to move this facility over here. I want to leave a couple of these in the back. Like this, because obviously we don't want them escaping. Let's see what other ones will allow them to uh, do some climbing on. They do want a lot of coverage. If all possible, they would like some coverage. So here's another apple tree. That should figure out and replace the issue here. This one, yeah, it's only doing 10. It's only doing 10. But 10 is more than what we had before. What about this tree? This tree is so nice. But they're going to probably 100%. If it was real life, they would jump out the back over here. We need, like, small trees. The sausage tree looks cool. Let's so add one of those in. Sausage tree uh, climbable? I guess not. Yeah, it's not climbable. So if it's not cl climbable, I'm going to put it in the back over here. Give us a little bit of detail. 
Um, I'm assuming if that one isn't climbable, I'm assuming this one is also not climbable as well. It isn't. Uh, what about this big fig tree? It's not climbable, but it looks really beautiful. Kind of want to put it up a little bit higher. Now, these animals, I actually don't think they're going to be able to not be stressed out because they will be able to be seen at all times. So maybe I should put a um, a wall here. I mean, these are all seen at the same time. I guess we'll find out once they start getting stressed or not. If they're getting stressed, we'll add in a big wall room. Um, so the apple trees are definitely it. So those definitely do. So what about these coastal mangroves? No. Yeah, those are still giving us uh, climbing. But I don't want to put it in a way so that they keep uh, hiding the animals. I, I, I'm perfectly fine if they're getting hidden from here because I don't want them to be stressed. Like I said, I really don't want them to be stressed. Uh, so let's see what else we can do. Um, these rubbish things are just so nice. I really enjoy these. Put a few of those in there, and it just now, yeah, just really popping that out. Put a couple of them on the outside over here, too. Oh, that looks so nice. How are you guys doing now, in terms of climbing? They still want a little bit more climbing. Okay. Let's get them a climbing platform, shall we? Uh, th th there's a 2-1 there. We can make another 2-1 where they can go up and down. This one is technically taller than that one. Um, so maybe we could... Or, I mean, it's going to be. Maybe we could do this where they can jump around. I don't know if they'll jump from one to another. It does, and it will give them enough enough uh, places to go. Perfect. All right, let's add in um, some, some scavolias and all these beautiful uh, details because these are nice and chunky. I love adding those in. The animals are completely upset with their habitat. They want soil, a little bit of rock, short grass, and no long grass. They really do not want long grass. There's a lot of it in here. So let's do some heavy soil. Let's get that sort of started. Paint that in. Now they're okay with the soil. That we need to get rid of uh, quite a lot of this long grass. So probably I'm going to use quite a lot of this here. Especially in their playing area, I think that's where you want most of the soil at. Anyways. Just so much long grass. So much. The pits. The pits. Uh, let's take our lawnmower and just like lawnmow all this grass up here, which technically counts as the habitat. Lawnmower all of that out of here. I don't know how you're supposed to do this with these animals here. I guess you would put them away and let them do their thing while you get that there. But they're perfectly fine in their statistics now. Um, but I do want to add, um, like I said, more rocks here. Hopefully the Mildreds are in tropical. Even if Mildreds are not in tropical area, I'm going to keep these uh, rocks uh, going. Because I really, really do like these rocks. The tropical rocks. It just, I just like the color of them. It just looks, they just look good. That's really the only, I mean, that's a good reason enough for me, huh? I would say so. Right, add some of those there. Maybe we'll add in a nice big rock here as well. Get these spaced out.
tuck that in there. Take this one out. Take this one down. Move this over here. And I really don't want to do those thin tiles if I don't have to on this side. I'll do them, like, back here. Like, that makes sense. And I will have to come back and make these, like, a null wall, so I don't have any issues. Or I'll leave this concrete, because that's, I mean, that would, that's pretty realistic. Just, like, leave a little section. All right, I'll go like that. Um, maybe I'll finesse. Oh, I didn't even do it over here. I just left concrete on that side. I did, like, almost all the wall except for this. Why would I do that? Why did I get lazy? That looks so much better now. Maybe we'll do the same thing here. I mean, these are the same rocks. Take these, and then we'll actually rotate this one upside down, though. Give it at least a slightly of a change. All right. Go like this. It does, it does seem pretty short. Just like that. And then we got to do these back walls here. Um, maybe if I could take a, cup, a sampler. And we'll uh, move these up here. We can sample these in this wall. Oops. Oops. Sample those in place. Thankfully, I did these at eight, the size. Oh, that there's a chimpanzee just here trying to escape, I'm assuming. I think they were trying to escape. All right, we're having some issues here. Social, uh, they're, one of them's really depressed, and I think it's this one, because this one's, like, trapped. I guess they're not trapped, because they could technically walk out. Where are they going to go? Are you jumping down? Are you staying? Okay, they're jumping down. Perfect. Um, let's continue. Let's click on the walls. Yeah, you see how like nasty these walls are? We'll highlight them all. Excuse me. We're going to highlight them all. Oh, what's going on? This is weird. All right, there we go. I don't know what that was all about. Grab all these. Make these now null. And I think we have ourselves a nice, beautiful chimpanzee habitat now. Just got to come through here and do a little bit of uh, road work in terms of Cutting this grass that's coming through this these rocks here. Cut some of that, all right? I don't want people seeing that. Uh, we're going to need some benches and some things so Liam doesn't yell at us. So we'll put a bench here. We have no more benches on this side at all. Put a couple benches here, too. That would be a perfect spot for those. I actually put the benches here. can't put any like here and I don't know why it's being all wacky I can't customly move it like that either so all right that's fine let's grab a educational sign duplicate it put it right over here make this a chimpanzee sign put that right there duplicate that and we'll put another one on this side as well Go to our dono bins. 
Got to, you know, of course, ask for a dono for a chimpanzee. Pull one right there. And this habitat, even though I did this quite quickly in here in 40 minutes, it actually is quite nice. All right, I'm going to let us watch these chimpanzees just for a second. I'm going to run to the restroom, and I'll be right back. Oh, we need to give them food, too, so I'll be right back. Wouldn't be a cloud from Chicago stream if there wasn't a snack coming. Okay. Of course, out of all the chimpanzees that I could have clicked, um, I got the one that was sleeping. Goodness me. Oh, none of this ground is flat either. But we do need to put some bedding in, obviously, so that they can take a nap. Put that right underneath them. Dangerous examples of the same. How did you escape, dude? Well, somehow they escaped. Um, don't know how they escaped, because uh, I thought this was all... Two of them escaped, by the way. Okay, this rock is jumpable. Because they probably jumped from here to here. I'm not going to even pay for them to get recaptured. I'm just going to do this, and they're just going to probably get shoved into this box. No, they didn't. Okay. I'm um, a little concerned, actually. They said two of them escaped, though. So, 
social groups, too few adults or animals. So they're actually complaining that they want more. I know, I know there's one that escaped. That's just going to keep popping up. But I'm waiting for this stupid vet to come down here to get him. Or get her. The vet should be on its way. It is pretty far away, though. Unless we don't have, like, just extra vets sitting around. Yeah, for them to come from there to here... It seems like that would take forever. So I think we do need like another keeper's hut like right here. At least take the barren load off of um, these people from here to here. Maybe we'll move. Maybe we'll put a keeper's hut here. Put a keeper's hut here, keeper's hut here, and another one here. So that at least they don't have to go as far. What do they have? Keeper's hut. Staff room. Vet surgery. Okay, yeah, like some of that stuff I don't need all of it down here. So, let's do this right now. I'm going to need some more baked lane chips, which are the best. Now, up until this point, including myself, I always thought that I needed to have one hub here, one hub here, one up here, one up here. Why don't I just have one central area that has all the buildings, and then in the other part, we'll make us like a sub station. I don't know why that has never crossed my mind. That doesn't have everything. For example, like a small keeper's hut and a small staff room. Right? That's all I really need. Like, they can still run across the map and bring everything, but then we can hook this up to the other place and... Now our people, animals can be, like, taken care of without making another quadrant on that map. I hate, I really do hate doing that after, like, I mean, at this point, I really am starting to not like doing that. It's not going to be a big area. It's not going to be fancy like the other area. It's just going to be a little temporary spot. Maybe we'll put a, if I can pull this out a little bit, maybe we can get a little, like, bench or a pond in. But it's not big. It's supposed to be, like, literally a substation. And this substation could be also part of another work zone, I think. Because we're never going to have a Quadrant 3. We're just not going to. Um, unfortunately. Uh, based on me not wanting to build another one. But at least now the animals can be all taken care of from here to here. There isn't really a point of me doing this in its own section because they're just coming out of this building because our big building here oops apparently i didn't rename this thought i i thought i typed it in maybe i didn't huh i am typing it in i was like just surveying all along all right there we go so now the staff members don't have to run all the way down here and run all the way back it'll be like a nice cute little area Speaking of, let's get this all logged in here with some logs and some of these thatched roofs. Do something really simple.
Put one in here. Put one in here. Put a door here. Put a door here. Grab a wall. Put a wall there. Wall there. Wall there. Grab ourselves another wall here, apparently. Thatch. Roofing. Hopefully there's enough thatch pieces in this game so I can do this how I kind of want it to go. Yes, there is. Grab one of those. Oops. I need to find this uh, piece. The triangle piece is what I would call it here. Double pitch, double pitch. Then go back to our log. And I just need to find uh, the triangle piece. The thin triangle piece at a, like a one angle. There we go. And there we go. So now, look at this. Already staff members coming in here. And now they'll be able to take care of this squad, these animals, and go down. Now, they should probably take a care of... <laughs> With this being so close, they they should probably take care of these animals here as well. Um, because they're literally right next door to them. Man, I'm starving. That was the end of the bag, too. So there's, like, crumbs everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that decision right now. We're gonna add these guys to this work zone. Um, so they'll be in two work zones. Like, does that include that I do this one now? They'll be in two work zones, these big guys. All right, perfect. Um, let's go back to the chimpanzees. Apparently, yeah, I went a little too quickly. I think these guys are a little... Girls and guys are a little depressed because there's not enough. They don't have enough friends. Uh, social group's actually fine, but they would... Let's get him one more friend, shall we? Let's refresh. Let's grab this beautiful female here. This 22-year-old. Send it to the zoo. And then they're going to need toys. I can't believe I completely forgot about the toys and the food and all that. And nutrition and all those things, so... We're going to add a food board here. Let's add it down here. It's a big food board. What a smaller food board. Um, and then we're going to add in some nutrition. Um, we're going to add in a foraging box right here. We're just going to turn up some of the enrichments. They need a toy enrichment. We're going to give them a so this is like grab ball thing. Move it over here. Doesn't really give them much enrichment at all. I saw in the real life, and you saw it on the on the vlog. When I saw those macaws, they loved playing with these like wooden. Or these cardboard uh, tubes. Um, doesn't give really much toy enrichment, but they really love playing with them. So maybe I'll add two of them in there. Because adding, apparently adding a bunch of them doesn't help. Holy bling blong! Did you see that? The enrichment dropped, though. So maybe we do need a big food board. By the way, they do. Uh, we do not have the AC on in the house, and I am just 
drenching over here in terms of it's hot nutrition is still not going up and they keep teleporting away I like that one spot I don't get that let's do a, a feed roller put this in the back Ooh, no that just like completely messed my thing up and I was really far away too put a feed roller here And then you want some toy enrichments still. You're really messing with those boxes. I'm happy. What a bobbin. What about a bobbin? This is so realistic. You would see these things everywhere in a zoo. Grab one of those drum bobbins. Put another one over here. One was a gift box. Let's add in a cardboard box. They're really liking those. Yeah, for some reason, like, it's just over here. These are having a negative effect on guests. I don't know why, because technically the guests can't see that. This is more of a back entrance anyways. Okay. Okay. I think we're good, though. I think we're actually officially good. Yeet! That one just yeeted. More chips time. More and more chips. Taking a boot. Bro. Yeah, the nutrition is not going down. Oh, hydration is the thing that I'm keep missing. Goodness me. We're gonna add a water pin back here for them. Oh! Like this is what I'm looking for. Delete this. I want to put these things in. The forage feeders? Like, that's exactly what I wanted. Put another box back here so that they can play with it. That's what I'm looking for. A termite mound? We'll add that in the back. It's a pretty nice facility in here. Probably don't need this big um, wooden board anymore. Uh, we could probably add in a uh, smaller feeding pan. over here all right perfect so let's go to the next animal the mandrills so we'll do what we did like last time we'll select onto this wall grab a null wall we'll go into here and we are just going to start working on the mandrills as we go Moshe, thank you so much for joining the live stream. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I got to see a good friend of mine today. And now we're playing some Planet Zoo. I'm only slightly late. Do not worry. I only gave everyone like an hour's heads up once I uh, knew when I was going to live stream. Wish I could have gave everyone a little bit more of a heads up. But uh, I, wa I wanted to live stream before I felt... Um, I almost fell asleep when I got back home. I'm definitely an old man now. Definitely am an old man. But I hope all is well.
All right, there we go. And uh, let's start working on the walls right away so we can get these figured out and fixed. So we're just going to duplicate the wall like we did here. And we're going to put these here so that we can have in a uh, null barrier. And it'll look a lot nicer. Maybe raise these up at this point a little bit more. I want to have a custom one of those things over there. So we're going to need to figure that out in a second. These will probably some, be some big rocks there. Probably be some thin. They'll probably be thin right about here. This. Moshe says it's been a long day. Took three, took a three-day manager job at a festival, meaning I had to manage around sixty to a hundred people. Holy bling bling! Although I'm getting triple the hourly amount, so. That's legit. That is legit. That is so legit. Congratulations, man. Yeah, getting that extra cash just goes such a long way. It just really entices you to work harder and do more, as you clearly know. I just, I, I've always loved working. Um, and I finally um, at a job that I actually genuinely like. That's, uh, uh, as you you guys probably don't like it so much but i genuinely like it um uh, it's just pretty much a live streaming and uh, it's literally just recording videos editing videos all day every day now i wish i could do a little bit look the one thing i do wish i could do a little bit more is edit more of my own videos more often um i just need to get better at my time management skills that's the only thing that's holding me back at this current point because I could definitely do more. And now I'm trying to get up a lot earlier and go to bed early. So that I can get up and I can just start working. Uh, that's the goal. I mean, how, how often am I going to get up at 6 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning and start wanting to editing things? I really, want, I really do not want to do that that often. But I have um, edited. This is what I did. So tomorrow there will be a drink review coming out. There will be a drink review coming out, um, and that I added, I recorded it over three days. Well, two of them. There's two episodes over three days, and I, it's like crazy. Like, I got up in the morning, I edited it, or I recorded it, went to work, came back, because I took a nap. I, re I slept in, or so, there was some reason uh, why. I can't remember the reason, the 100% reason right now, but it's the top of my head. But yeah, I recorded it. I recorded it one day, then the next day I edited it, and then the next day I posted it. It was really awesome how I... I was pretty happy at myself that I somehow managed to do all that together. That's what my goal is, is to do that. Now, the Claude's History course, I got, um... Obviously, Claude's History course, I want to do a lot more stuff like Zach Daily Games is doing. Zach Daily Games is doing what I want to do so bad. For some reason, though, I, I don't know why. When I do Claude's History course, the full videos... Like, I gotta be, like, 100% invested into it, or I just don't want to do it at all. Like, those videos I genuinely love, and I genuinely like doing them. The ones that I get those long versions, but the other ones, the short ones, the shorts, I mean, are fine, too. I don't want to just become a shorts channel, because obviously my whole thing is long-form content. But I genuinely love doing those long videos. I just, I have to 100% love it. If I don't 100% love it, I got a good idea or whatever, I kind of struggle. And the last one that I did, I actually got uh, one of my friends to pick it out, the idea, and then I just went full send. So I think that's what I need to do is get one of my, you guys, one of my friends in IRL. Um, well, you guys are my friends in IRL too, but I mean, um, 
like people I can actually see all the time. Although I'm getting paid triple. The yeah, the problem is the field we were. The field is the, pro the problem is the field we were at is flat and it is it has non been nonstop raining, so people are sinking in the mud. What was that big famous battle the British won over the French? Agincourt? I think the British won. Please tell me the British won. I, if I know how to spell that. Agincourt. 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 I don't remember. But I think it was the British invented a long... First time they used the longbow. I don't know if they invented it. Alright. This looks good. Let's go over and let's find those mandrills. And get them all ready to go. So we get them in here. I don't know what mandrills are technically defined as in this game. They're just... They are called just mandrills. Perfect. Um, how big... Or how do they want their population? One male up to nine females. And they also have that river hog, the nastiest animal of all time. Marketplace. So one male up to nine females. So we'll get this beautiful bronze female. And this beautiful bronze male. And then we'll get a female, Nyla. And here. So we should be fine. Oh, there's a golden female. I gotta adopt her as well instantly. Don't even think about it. Go to our animal storage. This should be perfectly fine. And then we will send them right in here. Um. Yeah, I could see the mud and the rain. That would be absolutely terrible. To be honest with you, that would be absolutely terrible to deal with something like that. I don't know how you're... I don't. I really don't know how you're managing to do that, but... Or managed to do that. Because I would be freaking out. Because it'd be like, oh my god, you gotta wear boots, man. You gotta wear boots. I mean, I guess I really don't wear boots that often, but... Uh, yeah, you gotta wear boots. <laughs> Those things, holy bling bling. Hopefully these mandrills are a part of the... Uh, The tropical area. Are you guys going to get the uh, mandrills? Where are they coming from? All the people, I guess, ran around or something? Alright, let's see what they're saying about their habitat. They want some climbing area, obviously. We can get a lot more mandrills, too. They do want more climbing areas, because I think we have a total of five coming in. Yeah, we have a total of five. Four females, so we can get a couple more. Um, so let's go into our marketplace. Grab this one here. Grab this one here. That would be six. Seven. Eight. And then I can get one more. A bronze. Nine. Grab these mandrills. And we'll drop them into... And then they should be perfectly... They should be perfectly, perfectly awesome. We'll grab uh, the biomes. They also are Africa and tropical. This is awesome. They want... They actually do want some open area. They don't want it all trees like the other guys. But they do want some climbing spots. So let's grab some of those and put those in here. I know I use, like, the same one all the time. But I really do enjoy this... Uh, this building. It's... I'm not going to build my own custom ones because this game is very, very... Persistent and very needs to be very accurate. So we'll put a couple of those there. And I'll uh, put another one on this side too. That should be more than enough. Uh, we'll see with the new people coming in. Traversable area. They cannot escape. Awesome. Uh, the Palestinian Revolt is the most popular with 3,900 views. Isn't that wild? 
I made that video specifically for somebody else uh, to just get. Well, I made I made the video obviously to inform people. Yes, don't get me wrong, I did do that, but I made that video specifically to 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 let people know like this is what actually is going on. Now, I think the majority of the world has forgotten why uh forgotten that but i did want to remind people like this is exactly what happened and people i know i definitely hit a hot spot on that because that's my most disliked one uh but i i do source it i mean i try to do this i know i've made mistakes in some of these things but um i try to get it as correct as possible and if it is incorrect i will go back and i will make a note i'll make a, make a change i just need to find some more uh Apparently, the Arab community has really enjoyed the, uh, has really, really enjoyed my history videos, which I'm very thankful for. So, I want to get some more. I did that short one with uh, Lawrence of Arabia, which I, you know, I'm a, I just love that film overall. So, of course, I got, you know, I, got, I, got, I have to put it in, really. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's the last one I did. I don't even know any other topics because the Middle East is not... I've never really studied, studied the Middle East at all. And I'm not trying to get all uh, religious on on there either because uh, that's not, like, what I'm going to... That's not my goal, at least. My goal is to stay away from religion, if, if not as much as possible on, on the History Channel. Of course, there are sometimes we have to. I did do a short video not that long ago of, um, or a quicks video on, what's it called? Um, Prince of Orange. William the Cyan, the Silent. Um, uh, that one was, that one was, I really liked that video as well. Um, but that one, it was very, I mean, the religion was the reason why he got killed. So, I, I mean, I had to do that. I don't want to be doing, like, a strictly religious video. Uh, people were wearing boots, but they were getting pulled off by them. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. It was that sticky? Oh, man. Uh, Karat? Is that how you would say your name? Karat? I have to, uh, look that up. Uh, I have to throw that in my robot to read it. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing this, uh, fine Sunday? Right now, we're working on the chimpanzees. Well, we just finished doing the chimpanzees. Now we're working on the Mildreds. We did the capybara yesterday. Uh, I just didn't have a chance to make a thumbnail this morning. The mandrills is the one. And man drill. So well, that should be updated. And then let me uh let me copy this and let me type into the natural readers. See what she says. Uh just give me a male voice. You've been through tough times. Yes, yeah, just give me a male voice. Cartatart. Cartatart. Car. Oh, here's this pronunciation here. Cartier tart. Cartier tart. Cartier tart. It's gonna take me a long time to to learn that, but I appreciate you coming out. Cartier tart. It's gonna. I'm pretty bad. I, Moshe will be the first one to tell you. I'm quite. Uh, <laughs> getting people's names is pretty hard. Yay, boy! Thanks for coming back out to the stream, Ninja Gamer. All right. The Mandrills. Looking real nice. This is the chimpanzees we just made a second ago. Also looking real nice. And I made that quite quickly. Usually I don't do things that quick, good that quickly. But we did this time. 
All right, uh, they're gonna want some coverage. They're gonna want some food and some toys and all that sort of fun stuff. So let's get that stuff placed down for these mandrills. By the way, we are nearing the end of this series. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, it's been almost two years since we started this zoo. About a year and a half. Uh, maybe a little bit over a year and a half so far. I've been enjoying every second of this, but we are gonna be coming to the end of this zoo sooner than later and today's stream is really going through the uh quickness of getting these things cart cart cards you had manjos in the first zoo i believe this looks nice already liking the channel well thank you what about what's a mandrill A mandrill is, um, I guess it's a, a primate. Mandrill. Mandrills, um, is a, is a species of large monkey that live in the rainforest and plateaus of Cameroon, Gabon, Equator, Guinea, and the Congo. They can be up to one male to five females. They have some fun facts. Mandrills is the largest monkey species in the world. The group of mandrills is called a horde. A horde can include up to 1,300 individuals. Female mandrills can live in a family group and help all each other raising infants. Mandrills have large cheek pouches that they store food in, often hiding food from their group mates to eat in their piece later. That seems legit. The bright colors of the mandrill's face and hindery quarters are caused by testosterone and indicated that the male's dominance level. In fun fact number five, in, de the, in The Decent of Man, Charles Darwin wrote that no other member in the whole class of mandrills, mammals, is colored to, in such an extraordinary, or the extraordinary and manner as the adult male mandrill. Oh, I spelt it wrong. Thank you for uh, correcting me. Yeah, this stream, we're going to be doing a couple things, so we're going to keep going. I'm just keep adding them. I just didn't plan uh, as much as I would have liked to today. But this is looking nice. Let's go and let's get them some toys and that sort of stuff and some feeders and all those things. They, I like putting those in first before we start going a little too crazy. Uh, where is the general overall? Here we go. They want some food enrichment, toy enrichment, and uh, that stuff. So we're going to put some food enrichment down here so they can pick through this uh, foraging pin and grab as much food as they possibly can. I'm going to give them a grab ball. Obviously, come on, they're monkeys, so they're the largest monkeys, apparently. So they can grab some monkeys over here, grab that ball, and run around with it. Like I was saying with the when I went to the Indianapolis Zoo, they the golden macaws, the macaws loved love uh, the cardboard boxes, so I want to add a few of those in. Um, there should be a couple other feeders here. One of these is a rolling pin feeder. So I'm going to add one of that, or add that over onto this side and bring it off the wall a little bit. That brings it up to 77 and 66. Obviously, grab one of these bobbins, and we'll put this in the uh, back, I guess. And I'll put another bobbin a little closer, the more colorful one. They could still do with some more food enrichment, but they're fine. Uh, they do want some. Uh, they do want some habitat uh, coverage. So there should be some really gargantuan trees that we can add in to this area. So I'm going to add one outside of the habitat, give it a little bit of detail. And then I love these rubbish trees, or these rubbish plants, and they just look so good coming out of these uh, rocks. Now, I don't know if that's entirely realistic, but I do really like how they're coming out of those rocks. So we'll add a couple of those in there. Mandrills and the other animals should be able to climb on these man on these uh, mangrove apple trees. Not on the fig trees, but we'll add a couple fig trees in here. I do like how they uh, look as well. So add a couple of them in here. Grab a little smaller one as well. Put this in the back. Cover that up. Um, now these banana trees and the whipping willows. Uh, I'm gonna add a weeping willow on the outside. Add a couple of them over here. 
Because this also matches the environment on this side. And we haven't really used very many Weeping Willows at all. And you do find those in America, so it's not like it's totally not legit. You would definitely see Weeping Willows. Here. Would you have that many next to each other? Uh, I don't know. Alright, here's another tree. This is one of my favorite trees because it has a bunch of, like, plants or something coming off the side of it. So we're going to add that in there. And we're actually perfectly fine on coverage now. I do want to add, like, maybe one more tree or something. Maybe these African oil. I don't know if they're going to be able to climb up this. Let's just check. Shall we? That looks good to me. I know we built that really quickly, but we're trying to get through because we were actually having a lot of lag issues the other day. Uh, we're actually not having lag issues anymore, which is very happy. That might be because I'm streaming at a lower quality. It could also be, um... It could be also just how the game loaded in and just today it just seemed to, like, let me go through. But I'm not entirely sure, so... We're just gonna... I do want to continue playing a little bit faster pace and getting a couple more uh, done so that we can start go and working on other series. So at some point, Moshe said something about... Uh, I liked how some of your best videos are the worst Minecraft updates. Yes! Yes! I wish I did more of those Minecraft updates and how bad they were. I would have done... I would have continued... I mean, I don't know all on how... How... Um, like, once again, I didn't hate any of the Minecraft updates legitly, but... I just loved getting people a little bit triggered. They don't... People don't watch the end. That's what I was trying to teach in that, because if you literally watched at the end of the video, you would have realized, like, oh, it's just me being silly. I didn't watch the end. I just, I just got livid for no reason. But, you know, that's not how most people work. Most people just watch it. Their attention span is nothing. I mean, I guess my attention span is the same thing. What I try to do on TikTok is I try not to like any video until I, uh, until I watched it through. I try to do that. That doesn't happen all the time. And I've been talking about this for a while that I wanted to add in trees in the middle down this road. They give it a little bit of detail. Oh, man. This is looking so nice, man. This zoo is turning out really, really good. We'll make this one a little lower. Perfect. No one gives a fly and bling blong about the mandrills, though, it seems like. Guest history. Holy bling blong. They have a lot of opinions. Tickets was a good value, though. They spent $80 on the tickets. Um, not close to the end. No. There's a new Big Ambitions update soon, so it might be released. So it might have released already. Hmm. I'm AFKing to make macaroni. They delayed the updates. Oh, for the big ambitions? Bruh. Word of the day. No? Four? Why is nobody coming to see the mandrills, though? I'm very curious on why there nobody's coming to see these guys. I can get that they're not the most legit animal, but nobody wants to see them at all. I need a I need a chimpanzee to run up here so I can take a nice picture. Or the mandrill jumping on the other side.
If they can get right up here, I want to take a nice, good thumbnail. Um, I do think we should add a little bit more details on this side down here. Grab some of these uh, f bird ferns and all that sort of stuff. Add in a couple of banana ones as well. Just change it up. I don't want the banana ones growing that tall, though. Drop a couple of things in there. That breaks that wall up significantly. Perfect. Over here, wanted to add in a couple of trees as well. I love how the rubbish things are turning out, so I think we're just going to have to add a couple of those in there. And then add in a few of these apple trees. These sausage trees as well. Go into our paths, and we will turn on pathways, go to our cobblestone pathway. We're going to go in here, going to go to curb on railing, uh, railing on ground path, railing on elevator path. I'm going to add in these railings back up into this point at least. Um, apparently I can't add that there because it's going to look a little weird. We do have a custom railing here to there, so that's perfectly fine with me. These should have railings over here, too, so you don't walk straight up to this fence. So I'm going to try to get that incorporated here. Uh, but that's going to look weird on that side, so I don't want to do it that way. guess I'm just going to have to let it look weird. Oh, this will look a lot. Oh, this will look a lot better. Mario. Mario is like one of, was w Mario was my first favorite character of all time. Down here, though, the staff is going to need some sort of fence here. I do think they should have a fence up to this point. I usually don't give them the fences, but I think down here they should. Uh, there is another side as well on over here. They should probably also have a fence too, just in case of the, the guests try to come down here. There should be a rope going across it as well. All right. Um, perfect. Uh, look at how big this... Look at how nice this stuff's getting filled in. It's really getting filled in quite significantly well. I think we'll be able to fill this in here right now. Uh, what about the capybaras? We'll go to the capybaras here, and we'll see what they are vibing. Tropical grassland. I think we're just going to stick with the uh, grassland. And I think we should add in some of these African oil palms. I, I really am a big fan of these. Let's fix the path of the ground as well. Don't need a fence on the inside, though. Uh, sad fuzzball is playing a video game, so I cannot add... Uh, a fence there until he leaves he did uh, nature welcome back I appreciate it um, all right let's add in one of these apple trees sausage sausage trees where's those oils coconut palm tree. don't think I need a coconut palm tree, but switch it up, shall we? I'm going to go play a game. For sure, take your time and have fun. Oh, we need to fix this, though. There we go. Um, oh, the rocks! Yes! Oh, it's the Yeet Boy! 9,000, welcome back! I didn't even realize it changed. You So you must have changed it just right now. Let's go! 
Yeah, see, look at it. If, uh, if I look up a little bit, it just changed it. Ye boy is back! Officially! Let's go! Ye boy was my favorite. Yeet! Boy. That's what I would say. Give us a little bit of detail and a little bit of rock habits and... Or... Ha ha not habits. I don't know what I was going to say, actually. <sighs> Reaching. These scavolia bushes are nice because they're nice and chunky. And they just look good, too. I think we use these uh, inside of the lagoon. Just like this. Um, I do want like some bushes. I think these fig trees will work. Let's delete this one here and let's add in a fig tree. Nice and shaded area. And now we are nice and filled in. And we're going to save because we have not saved since, I think, last night. So we're going to save real quick. And then we'll go from there. Eight years ago today, somebody recorded at my house and they uh, lost all of their footage because for some reason it just didn't record correctly. That's annoying. I didn't realize that was that long ago. Eight years ago? Ugh. Right when I laid down, it, uh, <laughs> it loaded. Now I don't want to get back up. Ugh. I might have to get forts on Steam, too. Oh, man, look at this. Look at how nice this is. All right. Well, the next habitat we are going to be building today is something a little bit different uh, that we haven't built in a while. It's going to be another big cat. And our big cat today is what we talked just about a little bit earlier today. It is going to be the cheetah. Ooh, scary, 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 scary cheetah. So we're going to try to design this. The cheetah, I do actually am fine with the uh, seeing the electric fence. Just want to make sure that it's nice and just chunky. Uh, I think probably doing these at the... It's been a while, but I think if I do them at 8, 10, that should be fine. Hopefully, cheetahs can't... Well, I, I think cheetahs can jump, actually. Seeing a cheetah in real life is really beautiful, by the way. I mean, seeing any of these big animals in real life is just absolutely awesome. I don't know if I would go technically in a safari or something to see a cheetah. Seeing it in a zoo is probably more than fine with me. Uh, I totally do not have $5,687 or money, JK. Oh, uh, for your coins? You'll get there soon enough. I might have to get some forts on the stream, too. I have a calico cat. Ooh, nice! A calico. How old is your kitty? Uh, we have a couple cats at our house. Um, our kitties are a American short hair gray and then there is a tabby uh and the boy cat really loves going outside like loves going outside you know how much people loved fortnite like that cat loves going outside as much as people loved fortnite like he really loves it 
So he'll go outside and he'll have fun and then he'll come back inside and he'll be upset that we took him from outside and put them inside because he wants to stay outside. But he lied to everyone and he said he wanted to come inside, but he didn't. He'll say, I want to go inside and then he won't go inside. Or then he'll get mad at us because we put our bottom inside. Like, what are you doing, dog? You want to go inside? You want to go outside? Tell us what you want to do. Please tell us what you want to do. All right, I don't know if this is the same depth as this. It's just definitely not. So we need to go a little... We gotta go deeper. We gotta go deeper. And then we'll smooth this all out here because this is all bling blown up. Um, and then we'll uh, move this out over here. Smooth this out because we obviously don't. The cheetahs can jump, I'm pretty sure, pretty far in real life. But we want to have like a little gap here just for safety. We're just going to smooth this all out. Hopefully, the cheetahs can't get down here. Hopefully. That is a pretty big gap compared to this one. This is a pretty big gap. Uh, so hopefully this all works out. Okay. Uh, now we got to get inside here. And we need to make a custom door. We're going to make a big gate here. And I guess this is where we're going to do it. Because I want these guys to be as close as possible to here. Go to work zones. We'll go to Liam's Lagoon. Add that into here. And then we'll go on to here, and we'll go into our shopping or our marketplace, and we'll go into our animal market. Refresh. Go here. Take off the mandrills. Um, the mandrills should be selected. Take them off and go up to the top and find ourselves a cheetah. Because I think a cheetah is part of the DLC items, because I don't remember having a cheetah before. Look at the cheetah stats. We're going to adopt the silver male uh, just off of base. I don't think they're going to want... You're going to want a lot of space. Cheetahs can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. Cheetahs do cannot climb trees. Unlike most cat species, che cheetahs cannot retract its claws and adaptation to give it better traction on the ground while it's running at speed. Cheetahs have evolved light bones and large lungs to enable them to run faster. Cheetahs ha has a long, muscular tail that can be used to steer and balance itself when running very, very fast. At least it's very once. They want to be in a group of two males to one female. That's really weird. Usually it's the other way around. It's one male, two females. But okay. they can live up to 14 years old. They're shy with humans. And we'll just take this one and we'll see how he goes. And if he doesn't, we will add in a uh, another one in a second. Uh, she is one of the cats. She's uh, almost 20 years old or something like that in cat years. Oh, nice. Bye, I'm gonna go eat some mac. Enjoy your mac. Enjoy the mac. Eat it all up. We're having some concerns with some of our staff members. But it pops up and disappears so quickly I can't even check it. Which is a really stupid feature. To be honest with you. Abandoned because it's inaccessible. What do you mean it's inaccessible? There we go. Let's see what the cheetah says. Is this enough space? Uh, 
Oh, more than enough. All right, we're definitely getting a, a female as well. Adopt, send. All right, the cheetah wants some short grass, not enough long, or too much long grass. Don't know if they want water, but I've given all these other animals water, so I'm going to add the same thing as well um, in this corner. Just a little bit of water. Um, I want to also see which biomes these cheetahs are, cheetahs are fast. Um, desert, grassland, Africa. There are going to be a couple of trees in here that they are not going to like, so we are going to remove them. But the ones that they do like, I do want to keep. Um, and then I think it's in here we can filter by the animals as well. There we go. Um, and then these trees are perfectly fine, so I'm going to move that over here to fix that up. Do they want a lot of trees is the question. They probably don't want a lot of coverage. They do want some, but not a ton. I'm going to add one of these here. Add a few of these other cabano, cabrera trees. Add one there. Add them on the side. This is a nice water hole here, so I'm going to add some uh, foliage by it. Um, how is the coverage going? They're doing pretty good. Uh, I want to put in like a nice couple big chunky trees or something to give this area a little bit of like some color and some depth. So maybe we'll add like one of those here. They're really almost fine with what they have right now. They really don't want much more. Uh, can I get a tall sausage tree? There we go. And a few of these on the outside. Oh, there we go. That's like a big boy that I'm looking for. We'll add the uh, sausage tree. Um, oh, put it right there. They can't retract their claws, so do we put any rocks in this place? I don't know. Oh, yes, these big trees are just so nice. But I don't know where I'm going to put it in here. That one tree is really flipping tall. I was doing so good at detailing on the last part of the zoo, but now it's starting to be a little bit rough, it seems like. I actually do like how you can see out the back on these ones. I don't know why, but the other ones I didn't want that to happen, so that's like a design feature, I guess. Um, let's duplicate these, because I do want to have a little house. I mean, maybe I could actually take this entire house. Is it part of the same plate? It is. Let's rotate this around and get to the correct dimensions that we need. And we will go from there. This is quite small, so... A, this is not right, or I'm just not putting it in the right area. Perfect. Delete these. We will delete that one, I guess, as well. And then we'll move this into the spot it should be. We're getting it pretty close. And then uh, we're going to make this null in a second. Uh, I do have rocks, though, splitting between each habitat, which I like. 
Here, maybe we won't do it, but I do like how it's splitting between. So this side is all going to be null barriers. Before I forget, let's rename this stream as well to Cheetahs 2. And we'll press save. And I think this will be our last animal. So we're going to be wrapping this stream up here shortly. Maybe about 10, 15 minutes. We will see, though, depending on how long a detail is. Could be a little longer. Could be a little shorter. We'll be wrapping it up sooner than later, though, unfortunately. Our fun is running to the end. It is running to the end. But it has been a very fun stream. Um, as always. What are these rocks called? These rocks are called savanna rocks. What the heck is that noise? They're running with the food. Holy bling long. They're running slow. They run faster to deliver the animal, but bringing it food? Nah, they're going to take their sweet time. Yeah, why is she running so slow? I should just probably leave it up to the other people to do the, uh... Dude, this, this is quite far. They're getting paid $3,100 a month. That seems freaking legit, though, to be... Bye! Yeah, we'll be saying bye here in maybe about, you know, not that long. Just want to try to get this stuff in. Thank you so much, though, Yeepway, for coming out to the stream. And I hope you uh, keep yeeting that, those coins in. Anybody going to see Oppenheimer or already did see Oppenheimer? I forgot if somebody has already. My friend just recently saw Barbie last night. And they enjoyed Barbie. But there was a couple questionable uh, things in there that they didn't like. And I originally was like, you know, it's just a movie. But then I was like, you know what? You know what? You are right. You're coming to the movie to get, like, taken out of reality for a little bit for a Barbie movie. Now, Oppenheimer is, like, a realistic movie, so I get that, but... Yeah, if you, like... I guess Barbie was also realistic, too, but... The way they explained it seemed legit. Uh, it seemed like there was just too much of reality in it for a Barbie movie. Is there, like, any bigger rocks, man? Uh, please tell me I didn't use the wrong rocks here. I did. Oh, I used Savannah. Okay, perfect. I thought I was used the wrong rocks for a second. That scared me. It's like, don't let me redo it. I know it was easy to copy and paste it because it is literally repetitive, but I don't want to redo it if I don't have to. We'll let these uh, animals have double doors. Usually don't let them have double doors. Uh, not because I don't want them to have double doors. I just never thought of that until right now. But I do want them to have like a... I really like how I've been doing these with the rocks. Having these like little private areas for them to like chill and relax in.
Let's get them some sleeping things as well, shall we? I think one of them is sleeping. I've heard him purring. Or whatever you want to define that as. Put a water tray over here. Put a food tray over here. Now, none of them are sleeping. It's just what they sound like. A rubbing pad. Uh, yes, I want one of these prey scent things. I love it when they run across. I think that would really get them in their natural environment. Get one of those in there. Put a scratching tree, too. I love seeing them with the scratching trees. Um, a rotation feeder. Put this in the middle. Get some, some enrichment, shall we? And I think there was one more. A scratching post. We'll put a scratching post in this back corner here. No, I kind of want it actually over here. We'll select on these walls. And we will just highlight them all. And we are going to just yeet them out of existence by putting null in. Null barriers. Oops. Move this in. I love the water and the shade, to be honest with you. Cannot reach your habitat due to... Uh, it said something. Cannot reach your habitat. You can't even tell if it's a cheetah from here the view of the cheetah is not great at all you can't see the cheetah from here very well the cheetah habitat's pretty big but what are they saying about the uh what is this is that what they're saying about the mandrill as well I wish you could stay longer to see the mandrill. So people do come want to see the mandrill, but they're not getting enough time. The cheetah, it's just too far for them to see. People are coming. Maybe the habitat's just too big. But the the lion one doesn't the lion one actually does seem significantly smaller. Many guests now think your tickets are overpriced. We didn't even make break even. We're so negative money here still. How do we go up that much? We'll lower it was 10 bucks. Give them a 10 buck discount. Huh? All right, let's try to fix this viewing issue. Let's move it in. And then we are going to add this wall, make this null and add a wall here so that it is only one entrance. Oops. There we go. Uh, the cheetahs are now away, so they're not going to be stressed. Uh, I just hope this will fix that issue that they were complaining about. I'm not going to move those trees. Fence looks a little weird, TBH. This tree will move over. That one we will. Hopefully they're fine with the, uh... This change. It looks like they are. They want some better terrain, though. That's what they're complaining about. And this might be because this gap is too big. The lions seem like kind of get right up to it, and this gap is not as deep. Let's just double check. You can't even tell if it's a cheetah there. All right, let's do the terrain, and let's make this a little closer. It could be a bad idea, though. Hopefully they can't escape. But you can see the cheetah better, though.
instantly the first thing you hear is the cheetah go Jarrr! jumps right over the side all right are you guys complaining about the view now still oh they are taking the pictures like that man that is so cool hopefully the cheetahs are now visible for these people so if they're not, I don't really know how to fix that. And I guess I can push them in more. Yeah, this habitat is just pretty big. They're still complaining about the terrain, I'm pretty sure, though. Plus, the cheetahs are sleeping. That probably doesn't help them. Uh, they want short grass, less long grass. They do want some soil. Uh, so let's get that stuff in. Rock, they want a little bit of rock. Um, if I could paint this all as rock in here, that would be cool. And ideal. This paint is all short grass. I love short grass in this game, anyways. So I'm not too upset. Then they want some soil, too. Not too much soil, but they do want some more. So let's add some soil in here, shall we? Add some light soil. We didn't do much light soil blending in the uh, the other areas. Add a little bit of light soil in there. Go to these guys, add a little bit of light soil. And I think that we are now officially done for today's stream. Let's take a quick save. Let's do a little walkthrough. And then Claude will be eating it. So let's see and let's go over the animals. We got three animals in today's stream. We usually don't do three animals at all in one sh in, 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 in like streams. Alright, once this is done saving, at least. It takes forever to save now. Just getting ready to throw my garbage away. Alright, let's take a look. So we actually have... Oh, there was actually one more thing I gotta do. Did I put these signs up over here? I do have an education sign. Oh, goodness me, I almost forgot. Yeah, the lion one you could definitely see more significantly. It just seemed like it doesn't seem like it's that much farther back, but it is, I guess. People are still coming to see the cheetah. No one has came to see the mandrill at all. That's weird. Oh, you know what we can do to get people to see them better? So we take these uh, toys and these enrichment items and put them closer to the guests. At least get them a little bit closer so then the guests don't uh, complain as much. I don't know if that's going to fix all of it entirely, but hopefully that will help. There's some benches down there, so don't need to worry about that. And then we'll put some dono bins over here. You gotta grab that cash, you know. Um, these people are... You can't even tell if it's a cheetah from here. They said that a month ago. 
Uh, I can't even tell there is a cheetah in here either. I guess it is pretty far away, but... Cheetahs are, I guess, a lot smaller. See, look, they're right here. Cheetahs are fine, though. So let's start and let's view the cheetahs while they're right here, at least. So here's the cheetah habitat. We just made this on today's stream right now, obviously. But the cheetahs have a quite a large habitat so they can actually run around. Most cheetah places don't. It is pretty far away. The cheetah habitat, not one of my most favorites of all time, but it is nice and big. It's just because the cheetah habitat doesn't have a lot of options for, um, look how fast they're running. Doesn't have as many options as I would like to, uh, I think these guys just said they want to see the Oppenheimer movie in Flankoe, and they said that. Swear to goodness, I think that's what they said. But yeah, look at this cheetahs right here. Look at that. They're saying this is too far away. It's literally right there. How much closer do you want it? That looks that looks good. Now, I will say my favorite build of today is actually the one that we built first. Uh, let's go back into the camera mode to uh, explore mode. The mandrills uh, is the second one we built today. For some reason, people do not want to see the mandrills. They get a good... I think they get a good view from here, but... The game is not letting people come and see this, and I don't know why. This is nine mandrills, so they do have a, a significant amount of viewing area, but there's no guest thoughts on it. They just, people walk past the mandrills and just do not care, I guess. But the mandrills, I do enjoy how you can kind of look down and in. I've always liked those habitats in real life. It seems like all the monkey habitats uh, do have... Uh, a look down and in and look at how beautiful that mandrill is over there about to grab that grab ball she is about to grab that grab ball yeet yeet all right perfect but then our number one build for today it's my most favorite, obviously, is the chimpanzees. Uh, I just love how this one turned out. The chimpanzees have quite a lot of food and pleasure. They have boxes. They have everything they possibly need. Toys. Actual cardboard boxes. Yay! 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 They just yeeted that out of existence. Uh, they have a nice overhanging house here that was just pretty much a duplicate of the other budget ones. Uh, they put these little pillars here so that it supports the building. And that's uh, pretty much it, man. I really did enjoy this stream. And I hope you guys did too. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreons for making this Patreon or pay this live stream possible. So if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do these live streams. Um, yeah, that is going to be all the time that I have here for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to update the thumbnails to the chimpanzees and the mandrills uh, right now. And uh, I will see Fredlings in another live stream or video here to come. I'm Club for Chicago. And remember, a real Fredling makes their own luck. Bye!